Hello you all, welcome to the channel. It's Rad from Radko Tarot and uh, unfortunately this is going to be a weekly tarot reading and I'm saying unfortunately because I wanted to make it in 12 videos a rather profound or as complex as possible a prediction for the week <clears throat> but as you can probably hear my voice is just can't stand anymore it's 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 so busy guys yeah, so busy and um, saying that guys because I don't want you to think like I am cutting some slack here and there it's just it's, it's truly unavailable for me to make the videos at least this week but I don't want to leave you out there hanging for those that are uh, awaiting my predictions and that's why I'm gonna make one long video over a very how can I say uh, quickly or as a blitz running through the uh, running through the star signs so with that being said let me shuffle the uh, let me shuffle the cards <clears throat> And uh, just to remind you once again that if you do want a personal reading, you can go to my website, which link you are going to find into the description down below. And also, um, what is exclusive for the Facebook followers, <clears throat> it's a flash sale of the tarot classes I'm offering. And it's 50% off the minor arcana and 35% off the major arcana. That is the sale. So uh, if you want to... Uh, and that sale stands for the next week, uh, which is 14th to 20th of December 2020. And uh, if you do want to pretty much participate into the sale, you want to purchase the tarot classes with 50%, 40, 45, 46% off if you go for the, for the entire class, just uh, go to my Facebook page, which is uh, listed again into the description down below, and uh, give me a, a message on the Facebook uh, message board, and um, I'm going to provide you with the link of the flash sale. Right, so with that being said, moving to the first star sign here, which is going to be Aries. Let's have a look what Aries are to uh, experience throughout the week. We, we do have the first card of the Eight of Wands followed by uh, the Three of a Pentacles, and the next one here, that is to be the Hierophant, okay? So those, um, and just let me get it straight here. Right, so those uh, those three cards that we do have for Aries. And uh, it will be quite of a, um, a, I would say, dynamic week. And uh, for one or another reason, I don't know how to really describe it in English, guys, but it is like uh, you are to be very uh, adventurous. You have very adventurous nature throughout the week to try out things, even if you have been told not to try it out. Something like as the kids does, right? You, you say to your child or, or, to your, uh, or to the children of your siblings, don't do that. This, this isn't how it's supposed to, to be done, but they just want to see it for themselves, right? And that is pretty much how uh, the the main energy of the week is gonna is going to be for you, Aries. Uh, but as you are grown, as you are mature, uh, the uh, presumption of not being able to work out is not going to be entirely true. At least not for you. Some of the things that you are to try out, despite what other people tells you are going to work out and it's, it's it will be like a point of honor it will be like you are going to shout in your face you know i told you so how dare you doubted in me right <clears throat> and uh, that itself the, the these whole energies uh, themselves are going to open you a potentials for new opportunities and at the very least are going to make your uh, week dappled with uh, dappled with activities and it will be a really really pleasant and exciting week itself for you to try out a new things things that are going to be more like hobbies you you shouldn't take it as you know uh, something that is going to change your life entirely no these are going to be rather enterprises that are just going to make your life more pleasant than before nothing more nothing less right so uh moving next we do have taurus just let me uh shuffle the cards
Right, so first one for Taurus, that will be the Page of Swords. Moving next, we do have the uh, page, the, the Knight of Wands, I'm sorry. And the third one we have, that is to be the Three of Pentacles. So a very similar energy for Taurus, to be honest. But Taurus, that energy is going to be on steroids. I, I don't know what is going on in the sky, but probably there are some kind of a planets that are a cusp. Aries and Taurus and more are influencing Taurus than Aries because as, as Aries are going to experience it like a curiosity more or less for Taurus this isn't going to be just a curiosity it's going to be a determination and um, you would be very aggressively predisposed to those that dare to dispute you in one way or another. Uh, criticism is going to be a thing that you would not take very, very lightly. And uh, the good thing about the situation, although I can't say that it's really a good thing, but uh, everybody is going to be left speechless when they are confronting you, confronting you in anything or they are trying to have an argument with you. It is just you are going to smite them down with, with very well, uh, how can I say, selected, selected words or selected speech. So you are going to be very well communicationally wise. Uh, another thing that we do have for you, however, is that uh, there will be a specific individual or a group of people, regardless how it's going to play out for each one of you, that will share your goal and will share your idea. And it is where the least you expect it, you are going to get a, uh, a, a help from somewhere. It's like an unexpected help comes about. Uh, but uh, those energies, like I said, they are very, very aggressive. And um, how can I say it? Well, you can hurt people. This is how I can say it. You can hurt people with your thumb, with your words, with your mental cruelty. So uh, whenever you do confront somebody or somebody confronts you about the things you think, about the, uh, the ideas you have, or in generally the plan that you have constructed for the week going forward, uh, be mindful because some of the people that are confronting you, they are doing it from love. It is because they don't want to see you fail. And in their mind, what you are doing is rather wrong. Not wrong, but it is utterly futile. But it, it, it is within their mind, okay, uh, how it stands. So try to be more milder when it comes to displaying your thoughts uh, and your arguments and in generally where you are coming from. Because, uh, like I said, non, not all of those that are confronting you really doing it to, to put you down. Uh, some of them are doing it so they kind of like are sure that you are knowing what you are doing. But other than that, with the new connection that you are going to have with this person or society of people, uh, it, you can expect a lot of uh, enterprising routine, very, very dynamic one. And how can I say, very exciting one as well. And uh, once you do display your idea, you do display your thoughts, uh, these people will be ready or that person will be ready to go with you to the very end of it. So it's like a faithful companion or very valuable allies that you are going to have throughout the week. Moving next, we do have a uh, Gemini. So for Gemini, first one, that will be the Five of Pentacles, followed by the Knight of Cups. And the last one, that will be the World. Oof. Oof. Oh, my. That's a tough one, guys. Because it can go two very, very different ways. One of the ways it is kind of like you are proving not just to yourself, but say to the company that you are working at, that you are the man for the job, right? And that if they are planning to dispose you, to dispose, to dispose themselves of you, they should guess again because literally you are contributing very much or you are a very good asset to the company itself. That is just an example. The other way how it can play out, it is that somebody that is trying to convince you to go along with them. 
it's like that the they 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 are doing it for your own good for example okay or that they want to to be with you let's say it that way and uh, whichever way it is though uh, we are talking about here your own insecurities and uh, the trifles that you have to undertake in order to kind of like feel the a uh, solid ground beneath your feet so what you can do in this particular case or what you should focus on throughout the week well the first thing that we do have here is five of pentacles with the world and it's pretty simple and very easy combo to interpret that is uh, where you do address the issues and you do resolve the issues no excuses no postponing okay and no how can i self no self commiserating no self pity of oneself um excusing yourself that you are weak or that now it's not the time to undertake the uh the matters you have to address the issues you feel uncertain because your supervisor is acting in a certain way and you think that they are planning to dispose of you confront them straight away right there on spot okay you feel like Things in between you and your partner are getting colder. Again, address the issue right there on spot. Uh, the other combo, however, which is the Five of Pentacles and the King of uh, and the Knights of Cups. I'm sorry, which is a Knight of Cups, right? It's the King of Cups. Even stronger, it is the King of Cups. So uh, the other combo, which is the Five of Pentacles and the King of Cups, that is where you do have the. Uh, backup not the backup but say the the back to supplement your statements um in case of um addressing the issue with your supervisor you do have the words to uh, the words or rather like the the uh the arguments to back your statement that you are a uh, asset that they should not dispose of right or the person that you are trying to, uh, how can I say, uh, make up with. Not, not exactly make up with, but resolve the issues in between. And uh, how can I say, for example, prove your love to them, all right? Um, you do have the arguments to back your words with. That is how the uh, King of a Cups here stands. And with the Five of Pentacles on a more practical level, if I have to say, uh, that is where in the very uh, despondent moment, uh, uh, a salvation comes about. It is that salvation could be either a helping hand or a very, uh, or an offer that you have needed, or pretty much somebody kind of like gives you the, uh, the, the choice that you have to make right there on a platter if you have been baffled how to approach one situation or another. So that was about Gemini. Now moving next, we do have Cancer. Right, so for Cancer, first one that is to be the Eight of Swords. Uh, moving next, we do have the Nine of Wands here. Okay. And the last one that is going to be the, um, the Knight of Wands. Those three cards. Just give me a second to prepare my tea. Well, I'm going to do it after I'm done with Cancer. Um, once again, the cards. Those three. And that is quite of a philosophical one. It pretty much points uh, that uh, it refers to some kind of a denial that you are doing uh, right now, maybe subconsciously as well, that you are denying old ways uh, and an experience that you do have. It could be a de that you are denying uh, some kind of a feeling that you do have. Just giving you an example, you feel that something is wrong with a friendship of yours and uh, you say, no, no, I, I can't be right about that, right? So, so some kind of a denial like that. Uh, in the worst case scenario, for example, you may uh, have any, a hunch, say that, I don't know, your husband is cheating on you, and uh, then on the second thought you say, no, 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 I, I, it cannot be like that. Okay, whatever suspicious you do have based on your previous experience, that is very important. You had it before in a very, very similar situation or in a very, very similar circumstances. You had it before and you had denied it back then. 
and it turned out to be a very ugly picture. Now a similar situation unfolds and you cannot deny it anymore. Uh, the whole movement or the flux of the whole week it is to open your eyes even further. And at the end of the week, you are going to stand, you cannot help it but stand in front of the question, am I going to deny the truth any further? Because it's going to be eye gouging at that point. Am I going to be the denying the truth any further or I'm going to free myself and accept it? So that is why it's philosophical. And uh, I can advise you, although we don't have any, uh, how can I say, intuitional card here, they combine, they kind of like point at your hunches which are coming from experience you probably forgot about because you didn't have to tackle with such a situation right now, but it is just that memory of that point in time could be a thing and will be a thing that it is, it is guarding you of be way too over trusty. So mistrust is the sense of trust here. Kind of like you have to trust your healthy sense of mistrust throughout the week. Now on another side note here that we do have, um, how can I say it? Mm, I was about to say something on a, uh, which is more concrete about an event that it is to happen and it is in between the Knights of, Pet or the Knights of Wands and the Eight of First Swords, and that is a uh, involvement into a thing which is going to be a good thing, by the way. It, it will be rather very enterprising thing uh, that you are going to find yourself way too deep in before you are able to deny it or accept it. So it's like getting into a uh, um, a water current that you won't be able to get out of, but ultimately at the end is going to end up in a very very favorable favorable way for you. It's just Listen to your hunches because they are telling you the truth. Oh, yeah, I, I forgot about that as well. I'm sorry. Uh, you can expect as well some kind of a disruptions into the communications or in the communications. We call it in our country a broken phone. It is like somebody, uh, someone told something to somebody that tells it to you that you are representing into a fifth person and then to a sixth. And when it reaches your boss, it has it sounds nothing like the first one said it. So such kind of a chain of communications that is going to, things are going to be lost throughout the chain. So it will be advisable to really check out the source when you hear about something. If we go with the most poignant, poignant way, you will, for example, hear from a friend of yours that your partner in, in life is cheating on you. Check it out before you make your judgment about it, but follow your hunches, okay? Right, so that was about cancer. Now let me uh, put the cards in and uh, wrap up my tea here before I move to the next one. Mm, oh, lovely, it's so delicious. It's a Christmas tea, by the way. Uh, 24 packs or rather like 24 units and you are supposed to you're supposed to drink one each day and having your last tea at the Christmas Eve but I of course missed a couple or I started it uh, later and now I'm gonna finish it at the second day to Christmas or a second day after Christmas oh uh, yeah story of my life right Not as sweet as I like it, but we'll have to do. Right, let me fix my chair. Right. So uh, next one that will be Leo. Just give me a second. It has some 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 kind of a uh, a spice in it. I think it's ginger, but not exactly sure. That I mm, I think I like. I I don't know. But it definitely has a uh, has an awkward taste. Right, so Leo, uh, first one for you guys, that is to be the Two of Swords. Moving next, we do have the Empress. And the last one, that will be the Eight of Swords here. 
and um, that week Leo is gonna catch you a little bit unprepared not in a bad way though uh, and uh, usually how it plays out this this particular community um, situation I'm sorry it is when you already made your mind based on some kind of an information or or events on etc etc and just so you are to render your judgment just so you are to adjudicate the situation some kind of a new information comes in that kind of like it changes the picture and uh, you understand that your choice or whatever mind you made it's uh, it's not accurate anymore and you have to think even further than that right uh, no different than if there is uh, somebody's trial for let's say a murder and just before the last hearing new evidence shows up and it's pretty much acquitting the person right something like this uh, for that reason why i'm saying that it is because you are to be emotionally invested into the matter and you probably would have want to finalize it as soon as possible okay you wouldn't uh, and, and that will make you a little bit resilient to the new information either you would not want to believe it or either you would want to ignore it one of the other highly advisable here however is that before you do decide what to do you have to consider all points of view because otherwise you are to um, not damage but um, break you are to break in an equilibrium that your life is hanging on and after that um, it's pretty much you are to be sucked in some kind of a emotion of life that you wouldn't like okay so for that reason Leo this week take it easy guys don't I would advise you do not make any final judgment or any final decision uh, because that information may come Sunday Eve okay and uh, just keep it quiet observe and uh, make up your notes try to read uh, among the lines as well or in between the lines as well because that information that it is missing it could be somewhere there as well for now you are blind for the truth or you have been misled but not any longer after this week is passed and the whole thing when you, once you accept it is going to bring you peace you may not adjudicate or, or kind of like render your judgment in your personal favor but knowing that it's going to be in favor of 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 the uh, of the balance not exactly the balance but the overall justice it will bring peace in your soul i can guarantee you that looking at those cards so that was about leo now moving next we do have uh virgo Just give me a second here, guys. All right. We are still shooting. Whoa. Right, so Virgo, first one, that will be the Tree of Cups. Uh, moving next, we do have the Princess of Cups. And then that will be the Ten of Pentacles. Oh, wow. Well, um, what can I say? I mean, everybody could uh, very um, honorably be envied at you because no matter what that reading refers to, either career or relationship, uh, the week that follows, guys. Wow. All right. So let's uh, once again the cards because I have been criticized that I uh, hold them way too short amount of time before the camera here people cannot observe the cards those are the cards right so that week uh, we are talking about a beautiful future that you are going to start laying down that is in between the three of cups and the uh the princess of cups or the page of cups that is a word so because the page of cups and with the three of cups especially it plays a role like uh, something that it is looming on the horizon that that comes from the page of cups but the three of cups it kind of points that it, it it completely aligns with your emotions and your vision and if there is somebody else involved in it it aligns with its vision as well for example you want to to 
to fight for some kind of a promotion, which is the thing that looms for you on the horizon. It falls completely within your vision and with your capabilities and with the vision of your boss, so that your boss considers you for that, um, for that promotion. And uh, it literally, those two cards here points that whatever overview you have, uh, it, it's gonna happen. Okay, it's, it's right there, uh, but you have to, but the condition is that you are emotionally connected with it because this is how the Page of Cups operates. Uh, it, the Page of Cups cannot have anything as an overview that they don't feel about it. Uh, that's why, for example, unsincere relationships or forceful favors, for example, somebody forces you to make a favor of them, uh, you are just not going to perform well and the thing is going to fail. It's, it's, it's right there because you are not emotionally connected with it. Uh, in those kind of connections here, in between these two cards, false relationships fall apart. People that doesn't love each other, for example, they have no emotional connection whatsoever. Uh, and they are together just because of mutual comfort, let's say, money. Um, it, it's kind of like relationship found on benefits. They also fall apart. It is because you do realize that you do need to connect emotionally with something or with somebody. Jobs that you would not like also falling apart at that particular point because you are fe starting to feel that this, even if you are productive, it's just, it's, it's, it doesn't give you any satisfaction, any, any pleasure. It's just a torment, torture, turmoil, and, and etc. etc. But with the Three of Cups, um, this card points that the, the looming thing in your vision, they are in synchrony. It's pretty much, it is what you see it. And uh, that could play out with, uh, in many different cases. Uh, what I mean here is that depending on your current situation, that would mean different thing. Just to give you a couple of examples, the promotion that you are striving for, it is exactly as you see it. Uh, the person that you want to be with is exactly as you see it, you know, uh, or the project that you want to, to accomplish is exactly as you see it and so on and so forth. Another thing about the Three of Cups here, especially with the page, it is that uh, there will be some kind of a, uh, a personal reassessment. It, it's pretty long reading, guys, I know, but there is so much into it. It's just three cards, but I can talk here a couple of hours about it. So there is a, uh, um, a, a some kind of a, a, a personal, it's not even a struggle, but your personal realization that if you are to take on the future that is looming on the horizon, you cannot take it as you are right now. There's something needs to change. And with the Three of Cups that we do have with the page, that change is going to happen very smooth. Uh, for one reason, it is because you are going to have support, emotional and physical. And for another, it is that with the Three of Cups, things are simply happening, okay? You try to do something and it is working out. It's as simple as that. For as long as you are emotionally connected to it. From the other side, we do have the Ten of Pentacles. So the good things doesn't happen, doesn't stop even here. Ten of Pentacles three and Three of Cups. It's um, kind of like, imagine your emotions as a, uh, 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 as a liquid, as a water, right? And the Ten of Pentacles, it's like this big ball that it is capable to hold all of your emotions in and, and, and keeps them safe. Ten of Pentacles, uh, if we're talking about relationships with the Three of Cups, this is where there is a uh, simultaneously cumulative life and freedom with it, and freedom comes with it. But not because under any conditions or circumstances, but it is because that is how you do it. You both are doing it. Same thing comes about, uh, well, almost same thing comes about relation, uh, not relationships, but career, right? This is where you, you every progress you make, every... Um, every result you give is paid off to you and that is independent from your from your other things so even if you are performing poorly into something that is what you are to be judged of the, the, this thing here that you are accomplishing amazing results on and the last thing um, you can expect either on an ex or a, a, a friend that you have not talked about for a very, very long time to, to pretty much reappear in your life? Will you, will you give them a chance or not? That is entirely on you. The cards advises you that everybody deserves a second chance. That is just their advice. 
but that cannot be applied into in, into all of the situations okay so ultimately you decide wow i well guys so what can i say i mean if i have to wrap this thing around you are going to be happy that, that that's that's the bottom line of it right so that was about virgo now moving next we have libra Right, so Libra, first one, we have the Aeon, followed by, or that is the Judgment, followed by the uh, Nine of Cups here. And the last one we have, that will be the Nine of Wands. Again, probably very close planets. Um, Virgo and Libra that we do have, because for Libra, there are to be changes as well. But unlike Virgo, the Libra changes are going to be changes Libra will not going to like. And when I say what well, well, they will not going to like, I'm not saying bad changes. It is just things that you would wish to be different, but they aren't. However, those changes that are to happen, although you may face them with a little bit of a skepticism and even consider them as a, uh, uh, a how can I say, unpleasant circumstances. I'm going to sneeze, oh my God. Unpleasant circumstances. They are going to play humongously vital role moving forward into the future uh, for you guys. And they pretty much are going to resolve a lot of your concerns and a lot of your issues. Uh, in fact, this is how it's going to play out. You do have a situation that there is a uh, few options available that you can uh, approach the situation with. None of them is equally bad. None of them is more bad or better or acme or better than the than the than, than the solution next to it or the, than the approach next to it and you may be uh, and none of them however is going to be most beneficial i already said that so you don't know exactly or you may not know exactly what you should do because there are too many things to choose from and suddenly somewhere or from somewhere one additional one comes up or additional option available comes up that pretty much resolve the situation right there should you take it and you say oh no not that oh my god really but it is and once you take it and you do resolve your situation things are gonna run smooth because that option available coming up it's it's pretty much the last piece of the puzzle of the situation Okay, or of, yeah, of the event of the situation. You name it. That is what judgment is. It is where the shaft falls in the hub. It's where everything becomes whole, whether you like it or not. <clears throat> you, don't, you don't get to choose there. Well, you can choose not to take it, but if you don't take it, there will be no resolution. So if you do, have, if you do want to reach a completion, that is your, that, that is your option and you got to take it. And uh, the way that I could that, that could play out once again, that is where, for example, you do have two people that you are dating with. None of them is better than the other. OK, and you don't know which one to choose exactly. But suddenly, um, say an ex comes about and starts talking with you again, you're starting to fall in love once again. You're saying, oh, my God, not again. Why me? Right. But that's that. I mean, it's, it's just very unexpected um it's quite contrary to what you have uh, to what you have planned uh, but you got to take it because that's your call that's your cue that's that's the call of the universe that's how you know it when it's sudden and when it does not depend on you at all i mean the appearance of it the choice however at the end it's yours and i do believe that it is about relationships by the way not career but relationships so I, I could give you another example how it could play out, guys. Uh, say you have uh, you you had been in love madly with somebody back in the days, 
okay but you uh, part ways now you do have another girlfriend okay that's it's it's very gentle it's it's uh, it, it it take cares of you it, it's really attentive and so on and so forth but you don't have that much of a uh, that much of a heap feelings toward her you should have but you don't because you don't control your emotions right and uh, that's uh, the ex-girlfriend of yours starting to, to text you here and there. It's just it becoming, again, part of your life. And you just realize you, you love that woman. I mean, you, you are helpless toward it. So that, that's your cue. And yeah, one broken heart is going to be there of your current girlfriend. But life's unfair, isn't it? Right. So moving next, we have Scorpio. So I want you to, all of you, cross your fingers. Well, we don't have to because this is pre-recorded, but I am crossing my fingers here to keep up the chain with the good readings about Scorpio. Because we have a long, long period of time. We have always had really bad readings. And uh, suddenly, three weeks ago, things are kind of like flopping themselves around or flopping themselves around. So first one we have, that will be the Empress, so it's a good start there, uh, followed by the Two of Cups, it's even better continuation. And the last one, wow, that will be the Moon, right there. So that will be a long one, just like Virgo was. Oh. And it's again a philosophical one. And it has to do definitely with love, right? You, you don't miss that. Uh, or you can't get this one wrong. And it has to do with what, with what love is. In general. So, uh, where do I begin with? Or what do I begin with? I need my, my vapor as well. Just give me a second here. Definitely. Then so that one coming. All right. So those are the card the cards once again. Okay. And uh, let me check on am I recording still? Yeah. Right. So uh, we do. Let, let's start simple. The Empress and the Two of Cups. That is the peacefulness of a reciprocal emotions. You fall in love with somebody, that person is equally in love with you, if not more. And uh, not just only that, but these, uh, these emotions also bring you peace and comfort. It calms and eases your mind, the hectic wavering. I'm not saying that you guys could have been uh, very nervous or anything like that, but especially for those that had lost their faith that they're ever gonna find love. If you fall in love this week, um, you you would prove yourself that you could have not been any wrong than that, okay? You just could have not been. But uh, my point here is that it will bring so much peace and comfort in you, uh, Scorpio, or in us, that uh, all boundaries we do have are going to be brought down. If it is not about love, because not everybody is going to experience love, sadly. We're talking about some kind of a partnership. It could be business partnership. It could be friendship as well. Which is going to be, if it's a friendship, we're talking about besties. If it is a partnership, we're talking about very equal and trust giving and really flawless partnership, business partnership here. But pretty much that emotional attachment and, and uh, the trust and the calmness of waves and all these kind of stuff are, um, if you haven't made your choice thus far, you're definitely going to make it. And, <laughs> and I guess, guess in favor of what you're going to make it here. You know I mean, you don't have to be a brainiac or a genius, you know. Um, but that also is going to bring to us huge determination here to... Um, it's not even about fights, you know, what we are to have in terms of emotions, but more like sacrifice for it, which is the, 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 uh, the acme of, of fighting for what you believe in. Because people may fight about their relationship, about their love, but 
and everybody does that but how many are willing to sacrifice for it right not many of us not many of any uh, star sign that there is out there and uh, you Scorpio we Scorpio are gonna be willing to do so here with the Empress and uh, the two of cups and just so you know where I'm coming from it's it's written here in the Alistair Crowley we do have the uh, the pelican here or the pelic pelican I don't know how to pronounce it with the uh, with its babies and uh, in its uh, handwritten book the bird is tearing off her flesh to give to the to the children so they can they they can be fed so it's sacrificing from from herself to give to the children to 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 eat in reader weight that sacrifice is described in another way uh, but here with the Empress in two of cups it is just you Scorpio are gonna be more than more than willing fought willing to to give everything you have to this partnership or this love and now we are going to the even better part which is the moon and the high priestess and the empress whatever fantasies you had for love in general because people have the best fantasies out there well you got to prepare really because they are going to become real it's, it's right there in the future they are going to become real this is where you are going toward guys the where we are going toward or if you do have the fantasies for most successful business they are going to become real but once again this is 95 percent love we're talking about here and five percent business for just a small chunk of of us or sliver of us rather than chunk so that's one thing about the fantasies Another thing it is that this was meant to happen, right? It's just, it's, it, it was linging there. Um, I'm not, uh, if it is about in, uh, to, you, you, are, you are in love or you are to fall in love throughout this week, this isn't about a specific person, but it is about the timing, okay? You are supposed to be in love, the true love or, or the meaningful love out there. And whom with, it was based on your actions and your decisions. For, for, for Taro, it doesn't matter who it is for tarot matters what soul he or she carries so you fall in love with the soul rather than with the body and it's reciprocal here having the two of cups so yeah i mean enjoy guys maybe we maybe we scorpio beat virgo what what do you think what do you think do we beat them because they had a pretty good one as well right so that was for scorpio now moving next we have Sagittarius, just let me uh, sip a, a tea and uh, see what we have. Or Sagittarius, 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 I don't know, I, I can't pronounce that, just give up, giving up. <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm happy. We do have one hell of a week. Oh, oh my God! Hell of a week in front of us. Right. So Sagittarius, uh, we do have the two of Pentacles. Uh, moving next, that is to be the three of cups, and uh, the last one that will be the Queen of Swords. I like that here with these three and uh, we're talking here something like a, a, an anger management that you are going to uh, run through uh, realizing that you know it's it's it ain't worth the hassle to be either that aggressive or to be either that livid about certain situations and about certain people in general but uh, more uh, is going to be the standpoint where you will um, how can I say adopt that concepts does change oh my god i'm trying to sneeze and i can't right so you are going to be more adoptive to the standpoint that you know concepts should change and uh, you have to go by what makes you happy and that's being said you most likely are going to uh reschedule oh my god 
Oh. oh my god, that was building up from the start of the video, really. So, concepts were to change throughout the week, and you are to be more um, attentive, uh, attentive to the standpoint that it is better to run your time pleasant rather than to dive yourself into the grudge and into the retribution, for example, and in generally to, uh, to, to think constantly over and over again about the things that you can't do much about right now. So that's why you can expect throughout the week to change your plans a, a, a lot. For example, you have planned to work up until, I don't know, maybe 6 p.m., but a friend calls you at 3.30 3 p.m. and say, hey, I, you know, I, I, I am going to finish early. Do you want to grab a beer and just catch up? And you say, all right, no problem, 4.30 4 at our place, and you're just going there, you know, and these kind of like a spontaneous changes into plan and into, uh, into routine, into structure, of your daily routine routine throughout the week that is going to make your uh, make your time really really pleasant and happy in uh, in general and the the best that is going to do is going to put off your mind of the worries that like I said you cannot do much about not because you are helpless though but it is because the time is not right let me tell you what i mean here say that you learn that um uh, somebody is sabotaging your project or is sabotaging some kind of a work at, at your career, at your job. But that person is now on a vacation, is on a holiday. You can't do much about it, right? You have to confront them when they, when they come back. So what good this is going to do for you if you constantly think about that thing and, and you con constantly think about the person itself and how they could, they could have done that and so on and so forth. Just put it off your mind have fun, go about with your friends, go about with your relationship, you know, go about with the things that are really making you feel uh, happy. And when the time comes, you are going to resolve your issues. I mean, have no doubt in it. So you're going to have your moments to be dead serious and to be, uh, to be really pushy and aggressive. Now, throughout this week, you just have to enjoy yourself. It's all that there is here. If you can do it with friends, social circles, society of people, that would be best for you, okay? Other than that, um, how can I say? Spontaneous maneuvers or business decisions are gonna run for a long run, or are gonna go for a long run, I'm sorry, here that we do have. Um, some of the information that you do gonna have for yourself or for you about your work or about your relationship in general, information in general, uh, I'm not saying that it is wrong, but it could be a little bit outdated. And for that reason, you should be always in, uh, in tune with the current situation, always looking for the new concepts out there. That is pretty much the virtue of the game, the new concepts, because concepts are going to change constantly and you have to be very very adaptive so moving next we do have uh, Capricorn So for Capricorn, first one, that will be the uh, eight of uh, seven of wands, I'm sorry. So we do have seven of wands, followed by the six of cups. And last one, that will be the five of wands of Capricorn. Mm. Things aren't looking really ideal for what I can say here. Um, You would have to stand your ground about a thing or about something. So this is how it usually starts, having those cards. It starts with a rumor, 
some kind of a gossip that starts dwelling in your domain. Somebody of your colleagues says something about you. You know what? For example, this person is way too active in Messenger while you are home officing. They probably are not doing their job, right? And start spreading that, that thing around. And uh, before you know it, it will become a huge deal. Before you know it, even if you display a solid evidence that that's untrue, nobody would believe you. But there is a way out, Capricorn. You sap the rumor, you do sap the infiltration of your domain right there. You do not ignore it. Ignoring the problem is going to escalate it very quickly and is going to make it so big that there is no solution at all. It's simply, it's simply where the problem is, that thing will be lost. Uh, that is on the negative side. Uh, on the plus side for, throughout the week, um, you will be very resistant to a temptation. You are going to be very resistant to sway of opinion as well. And uh, also you are going to be very vigilant or um, I don't know how to say it, opportunistic, I would say it, for uh, the week will contain turnarounds over the situations, over events as well, over people also. So nothing will be decided until it's wrapped up. There is no such, thi such thing throughout the week that, uh, for example, I know where it is going. No, you don't. You have no idea because the very last moment being down in the dumps, you can end up at the upper hand or on the upper hand. And you would know when and, and how and, and, and uh, where exactly to act. Uh, and that is a really powerful drive that you are going to be or really powerful impulse energy that it is going to support you throughout the week that if you will is going to help you to sap the rumor, the gossip, the, 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 the infiltration that will uh, start dwelling in your domain like I, uh, like I said. But this week uh, you Capricorn have to Pretty much be careful with yourself. You have to guard your boundaries and your domain. Because if you let it lose, your job could be lost. Your family could be broken. Your relationship could be broken. Um, but it's just... Seven of Wands, it's, it's where you pretty much risk almost everything you got. And uh, it's not like risking, but it is like... Uh, being exposed everything you fought for it's being exposed and you have to pretty much be on your guard throughout this period of time which is one week until it is wrapped up in a shell once more and nobody can touch it so that was about you capricorn now moving next we have aquarius or aquarius 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 i can't pronounce this one either so i do apologize for that guys Uh, right, so for Aquarius, uh, we do have the Eight of Swords with the uh, Page of Cups. And the last one we have, that will be the Six of Cups. So those, uh, those three cards. Uh. Well, uh, for you, Aquarius, uh, things are looking a little bit stubborn, to say the least. So, uh, throughout the week, you are going to have, uh, how can I say, many um, options and opportunities to really have a good time, to have fun, and to, in generally, attend to the um, to activities and, and enterprises that are making you feel good in, in general. Not just only in terms of personal life, but also in terms of a career, in terms of job as well. Uh, the problem is, is that you would not, or you are not going to have an affinity to do it. And I will tell you, and I will give you an example why. 
say uh, your boss approaches you with a really easy and, and pleasant project for you to, to tackle with, gives you the option, do you want this one or do you want that one? And you would say, if I take the one that I like, you know, it is very small, everybody can do it, so they're going to see me a bit unsuitable to, to undertake responsible stuff, right? And you're going to take that one, which is a, a nightmare. It's, it's ah. And uh, it's just what I'm trying to say here is that you, uh, Aquarius, will be more... Um, more sensitive to what people may think of you all right and may kind of like uh build as an impression of you rather than to what you like and that's it's not going to ruin your week or anything like that but it's, it's just is going to put a limitation of how well you're going to feel and uh, in generally you are to build up some kind of a path or a road for yourself or, or in generally a narrative that will have not much of a uh, joy from it, uh, um, aside from the joy of, of results that you are going to have. And uh, for some of you guys, you may end up being very livid about waking up every morning, going at work, knowing that you have to undertake that project rather than this one. So be true to yourself. Don't say yes to something you would like to say no, and don't say no to something that you would like to say yes. Just be true to yourself. Another thing that I would like to say here is that if you don't want to talk with somebody, just don't, because otherwise it's, it's going to um, overload you uh, energetically, if you will, with a, with a negative stuff. And you may find yourself uh, with a lack of enthusiasm and with a lack of, of, of wish or of, a, um, of esteem to, to do something moving forward. It, it's like it's going to kill your, uh, yeah, it's going to kill your esteem to do anything throughout the day moving forward. So tackle only with a positive people. And last one we have, that will be Pisces. So let me, uh, let me shuffle for Pisces and see what they have. So Pisces, first one, that will be the Two of Cups. Moving next, that will be the Eight of Swords once again. And the last one, that will be the Two of Wands. Those three. So unlike Scorpio and who, who was it? Virgo which says, which pretty much said what's how to find love. Here for you guys, it is how to keep the love around. It is what the reading is all about. And it's very simple. It says demands, pressure, ultimatum, and in generally trying to be dominant in your relationship or interaction is gonna kill the love out there. I, it's, it's just simply as it says. You should, I don't know how to say it. it. It's like when you want something right now and in this very moment, you are going to lose everything. Just to give you an example here, say you ask your husband to make a decision right now where we are going to go on the holidays. My family or your family, you have to say it now. I want to know now. And he's going to say, nah, nowhere. I guarantee you that if, if you are Pisces, he's going to say we're not going anywhere. So, yeah, being very aggressive and um, oppressing your power over the emotional attachments you have. It may not be love. It may not be a relationship, but it could be a friendship love. It could be as well parental love, OK, or, or siblings love and so on and so forth. Oppressing your um 
your authority and demanding and showing uh, and, uh, and shooting and ultimatums okay and wanting in generally to um to have it your way no not necessarily your way but to, to to have it in a sense just give me a second here um i don't know how to say it to have it sorted out right here right now in this very moment is is pretty much never gonna work out or throughout this week at least and it's not gonna work out in your favor at all you're gonna have nor one thing or the other so you just have to let it fly you just have to let it move on its own accord if you will because that way if you do let it if you do let it fly um regardless of what is going to be the end result you are going to like it judging by the two of cups as we do have here now if i have to touch the career reading uh with uh, those two cards there will be very good uh interactions in between you and your colleagues uh this one of the final weeks of the year even if there were some uh, grudge that it was that it was held in between co-workers in between you and somebody out there it's not going to be in present throughout the week itself um, even if somebody says something uh, inappropriate the other person will pretend that they never heard it uh, and and the other person is going to pretend that they never said it and so on and so forth so there will be no conflicts out there into your job or into your business or into other working place but once again we're talking here about emotions we're talking here about love and uh, yeah, you, you can't hurry love like Phil Collins sung. You cannot hurry love. Love comes and goes whenever it pleases. Love is, is pretty much uh, free like water. And if the water and if a stream wants to go in that sea, you may try to catch it. You may try to trap it. It's it always going to find its way. Okay. So don't demand, guys, don't be aggressive about it. Don't escalate things. Do not make scandals. Don't confront, just let it fly. And uh, that will uh, accomplish very good communications, if you will, interactions, harmony. So yeah, that being said, uh, this was uh, your weekly, hourly weekly tarot readings uh, for uh, the upcoming week. December 14th to December 20th, 2020. Uh, this is just a force majeure, a circumstance here that I'm doing it in one video. But in the future, um, again, the uh, 12 videos per uh, per week are to stand with more, uh, how can I say, with, with, with more complex readings, okay? And uh, yeah, if you once again are interested in a personal reading, you can go to my website. Uh, you're going to find it in the description down below. There you're going to, at the very front page, you're going to see a full list of my services as well, their pricing. And uh, also uh, exclusively for the Facebook page followers, uh, the courses, that are, the tarot classes that I'm offering are with a 50% off for this particular week. Uh, December 14th to December 20th so uh, if you do want to uh, take advantage of the sale or you do want to make use the sale just go to my Facebook page and uh, send me an inquiry on the Facebook page messages that you do want to participate into the sale and I'm gonna send you a, a link where you are gonna put you can purchase your um, your class with 50% off so yeah that being said guys uh, thank you so so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the reading just as the readings just as much as I did and uh, we are to see each other next time. Until then. Bye.